so welcome back to Extraordinarily Ordinary. Hey. Um, we are back at it this week after last week's song, <laughs> which was exciting. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's pretty fun. Welcome uh, back to another list. We are... <laughs> what? Nothing. I'm just trying to be exciting. I... Can we... Let's not do that today. <laughs> not today, Satan. Go power puff yourself. Am I right? Topical. Big this week. <laughs> All the 12 year old girls and me. <laughs> that <laughs> is accurate. Alright, so this week we're doing the five worst things about living in a New York apartment. Which we find out What gets out worse than that? Every week for you. So number five, when you're sitting in your apartment and all of a sudden, sneak attack, it's 10 p.m. on a Wednesday and that is prime time for a party next door. I don't, this one doesn't bother me that much, that's why we made it number five, because I don't want to stop people from living their life. Right. But, it is, it does get annoying when all of a sudden, like, you have to be up for work in five hours, and they're <laughs> partying to Shakira next door. <laughs> I do. And then you sing along. I mean, I do love, stuff that's the your thing, head. like, I can't remember to forget you. Right. It's a song. I know, it's a uh, song. <laughs> <laughs> number four. The rent situation in New York City. We get it. It is tough times, but literally, you can't live here unless you're super rich, which the majority of us are not. Or you're super not. struggling. <laughs> which we're the latter. <laughs> Basically, this is how life works here. You get paid from your jobs, multiple. You and collect that And you just give that, that check, you give it you right over it to your right landlord. <laughs> And we're still struggling to pay the lucky rent. And that's why we're way up north in Manhattan. Oh, God. <laughs> so we're way up north in Manhattan up there. Honestly. Number three. Laundry day in an apartment building in New York City. So... For most of us... Well, not us, but... Not us. Most of the people in New York City do not have a washer and dryer in their building or their rooms. So you have to go to a laundromat where you have to drag your pounds and pounds of laundry <laughs> all the way to some <laughs> random location on the street and then you have to sit there and wait for it to be done. I hate laundry anyway. If I didn't have laundry in my I, basement I at this that. time, I don't think I would do laundry. I think I would just... Sometimes she still does it. And I would just throw it away and buy new ones. I don't but wait, think I can. Do that a lot. They do. Some people. No. That's ridiculous. Well, it's not my life. It shows me. Number two, when your buzzer goes off and you know it's not for your apartment, that is one of my biggest pet peeves about the city. Is that some rando on the street <laughs> yeah. thinks that it's cool at 7 a.m. to buzz my apartment. If it's you anyone. buzz my apartment I'm at any time, it. if I'm not expecting you, I'm not opening the door. I probably won't even ask who is this. The male people will get in. I have faith in them. I'm not buzzing you in. Male people don't Absolutely buzz the not. apartment though. Most of the male people have, have keys. keys. The only time I buzz somebody in is if you've got food for me. Or you're like a friend, I know you're coming. With food. No, <laughs> just friendship. We have different... That's not agree true! To, agree to disagree. You buzz me in a hundred times. With food. Number one. Yes. Should we just call number one noisy neighbors? <laughs> noisy neighbors. Now this one's a broad topic. There's a lot of things that can um that are under this umbrella of noisy neighbors. But New York is known mainly for its lack of space and thin apartments. <laughs> the thing that kills me the most is upstairs. These people, they're like, I, how hard do you need to walk? It's one in the morning. 
and there's stomp grounding up on there. And I'm like, why are you doing this? Are you doing a stomp number? Stomp the yard is here in the routine? Like, I don't know what's happening. And they must have a child or like a dog or something because it's always pitter patter running around over my head right when I'm trying to sleep. Why are they up so late? <laughs> you know? God, I'm angry. They're stomp grounding. I don't know. Are they? That's what I think they're doing. They're stomp grounding. My neighbors above us, I'm pretty sure they rearrange their furniture <laughs> on a nightly basis. Because I just hear the sound of something, like a dresser being moved. If my neighbors are having like a personal conversation in their bedroom, I hear that. If my people across the street are, you know what they're doing, I sometimes hear that. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. So those are our, you know, Those our are our opinions. five least favorite things about living in New York apartments. Yes. So thanks for hanging out with us this week. We shall see you all next week. For a challenge. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Filming with Amy is challenging enough. It's not funny. No one laughed in here. I hear silence. It's the only time I've heard silence up here. <laughs> uh.